Ever wondered how to use microtones to spice up your jazz harmonies? Totally. I thought I was the only one thinking about that. Well then, let's dive right into it. The rabbit hole goes really deep on this one. So basically, there are two ways of harmonizing a melody. Either something stays the same, which is sometimes referred to as a pedal point, but for what we want to talk about, let's call it pivot, or there's movement in both voices. Yes, there can also be a weird conglomerate of the two, but we'll talk about that later. We're getting ahead of ourselves. So today, we'll take a look at how pivots work. You can find them everywhere. So pivots come in three categories. Diatonic. Moving inside a given tonal system, a subset of the 12 chromatic notes. Chromatic. Moving the tonal system, but staying inside the 12 tone system. Or pitch shifting. Moving the tonal system outside the 12 tone system. Diatonic movement is confined to a given scale, a subset of 12-tone equal temperament. It's a technique often heard in pop, folk, blues and gospel harmonies. But that doesn't feel like there's movement at all. Can't there be more movement? Sure, that's where chromaticism comes into play. The Greek word chroma means color, so spicier, more colorful harmonies are possible when we use notes that aren't part of the key center we are in. Ultimately, every bass note can go with every melody note. So a G can be the major third of an E flat major chord, but also the minor third of an E minor chord. Two key centers far apart from each other. You can cover a lot of harmonic ground very quickly if you assign G to be whatever note of any chord. So that's cool, but can we go further? We've used 12 out of 12 notes. Absolutely, but it gets weird now. We need to split the octave into more than 12 notes. But that will just sound out of tune, right? Not necessarily. If we have a higher division of the octave that better approximates the overtone series, we can even sound more in tune than 12 tet. Okay, sounds better than expected. There are some artists and genres out there in Western culture that tune the chords according to the overtone series. Merry Christmas to but can every melody note of a 31 tet system be combined with another note of that system? It depends. There are certainly more dissonant notes, but there are some pretty neat sounds to be found. You can do almost everything with 31 that you could with 12, but on top of that, we can differentiate between altered notes, we can use just intonation intervals that can be approximated with 31 that weren't at our disposal in 12 tet. And we can use extended just intonation for the weirder notes. Okay, so we've talked a lot about the approximation of the overtone series, but what about the overtones themselves? Then we use a system called just intonation. Instead of using approximations, we could use exact frequency ratios to tune our chords. This basically opens up endless possibilities because we can decide which note of the chord to use as a reference pitch. Let's use a harmonic 7th, also called barbershop 7th, as an example. Either the pivot note stays exactly where it is and the rest of the chord goes up 31 cents or the chord will function as a temporary pivot and pull the original pivot note down by 31 cents. You can do the same with all the other notes from the overtone series. Just take their ascent deviations from 12 tet and move the notes up or down accordingly. Georgia, mm, Georgia, no peace we find, a sweet Basically, any TED system is only an approximation of the musical fractal found in every note. Do you count the heads on a Romanesco or the buds on each head? 
The more you zoom in, the more you're able to differentiate. But sometimes, amid the infinite tuning possibilities, the pivot and its bass note find themselves in unison, sharing the same wavelength, tuned to the same frequency. Hey! hey. Nah, nah. We're already working on our next installment of Here Between the Lines, which will be out in February, where we'll be taking a closer look at contrary motion, again through a diatonic, chromatic, and microtonal lens. If you liked our video, do consider sharing it with your friends and family. Or join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.